What's up, brothers and sisters? I want to give you some facts to think over to better understand the state of black economics in America. As of 2020, black businesses received less than 1% of VC funding. White businesses received over 90%. Black people have been left out of building wealth during slavery, the housing boom, and the boom of businesses. How can we bridge the wealth gap if we're always behind statistically? Well, let's see. There has been an uptick in investments into black businesses as of late, mostly black women. In fact, there are more black-led VCs today than ever. Let's see how they're working on improving our 1% to 90% investment ratio. 1863 Ventures, led by a black woman, has the moniker 1863, the year that black people were promised freedom from bondage. And yet this firm says on its front page, we invest in black and brown founders. Let me check my history book. Were there brown slaves fighting in the Civil War for black freedom? That would be a hell no. So why would you use the moniker 1863 and include people whose ancestors were never hung, raped, or even sacrificed an ounce of their blood for black freedoms. Let me show you how it's done in the brown community. This firm is called LatVC. They boast about investing in Latin people. Guess what their portfolio exists of? 100% Latin people. There is one black and Latin sister who has a white partner who is only invested in because she is Latin. There is not one black person who doesn't have Latin blood receiving any of their funding. There is no description of investing in black and brown entrepreneurs on their website. Why is that? Because they are building Latinx wealth and they mean it. Black people, we divide our pie up and wonder why we never rise as a culture. In this situation, brown investment firms are investing in brown entrepreneurs. Black investment firms are investing in everything under the sun and black people. Let's get to Backstage Capital, another black-led VC firm. They boast about investing in black entrepreneurs, women in the LGBTQIA community. Well, most of us thought it was solely focused on black people in all these categories. But no, the women in LGBTQIA added every other race in the mix. So why are these companies bragging about blackness and dividing the pie? I don't know. You need to ask them. By the way, they invest roughly 60% of their funds into black-owned businesses and 40% into non non-black owned businesses. Let's look into Harlem Capital, another black led VC firm that has boasted for years about their blackness. They used to have a young brother named John Henry who had an amazing story that catapulted this firm into the spotlight. He would leave in 2020. By looking at their portfolio, you will quickly realize they have the same poor investment ratio as Backstage Capital. They've invested 40% into non-black owned businesses and 60% into black owned businesses. The funny part of all this is, these three black led VC firms are funded majorly by white investors. So it's white America for the generational wealth win and black America for using its face to make them wealthier. Hmm. Same old, same old, nothing different. This is why I created Black Dollar Fund. I'm sick of making white America generationally wealthy from our blood, sweat, and tears. Once you get fed up, check out Black Dollar Fund and join to finally be a part of the solution to bridge the wealth gap. We invest 100% in black owned businesses. Again, we're building black wealth once and for all. Every culture does it. I've shown you proof of a Latin firm doing exactly what I'm talking about with Black Dollar Fund. And then I've shown you three black led VCs, the top three in the United States, each one of them talking about they will invest in pretty much everything under the sun. Oh yeah, and black people too, 60%. Why is that? Why aren't these firms that are boasting about helping black people investing 100% into black people? It doesn't seem like it's hard because the Latin firm did it. Like I said, check out all these VC firms that are focused on other cultures. None of them are saying we invest in Asian and brown or Asian and black and Latin and black. None of them. They're all saying they're investing in their people. It's always a black led firm that says black and brown. It's sad. Don't get it twisted. I love what the Latinx community is doing with investing in their own, as well as the Asian and Jewish communities. But black people, we need to get our act together. We don't have it like rich white people, whereas we can afford to invest in everybody. Maybe we can make that a long-term goal, but our short-term goal should be to create enough wealth for us, then help others. I'm just saying, we spend over $1.4 trillion it's about time we lifted us and stop begging people who don't like us to lift us. It's about time. We've shown that we are leaders. We've shown that we can do it. We've created wealth in almost every genre in America. The music industry, mostly created by black people, yet we receive little to no return. Technology. We've been a part of science, going to the moon, 
creating telescopes that the world has never seen. Yet here we are, continually asking people to give a damn about building wealth for us. I mean, at this point, it's no longer asking, it's begging. And to be brutally honest, it's pathetic. It's time we use our dollars to create wealth for our people. Black Dollar Fund, finally investing in us.